What's going on guys, Matt Schaefer back here. Another laser and radar defense system for you. This one, another stealth one. This one here houses AL priority diffusers in the front and we're using net radar for the radar defense. We have our TX sensor, which is right here in the Honda logo. I'll overlay a picture here so you can see how it sits behind this uh, special layer of plastic that is light emitting. And we have a sensor here and there. And basically I had to build uh, some, some brackets to hold these into the bumper. Uh, so they basically bolt in place to where there's a bunch of torque screws that go up and on top and on the bottom. And then it basically pinches it from the back in order to kind of bolt it to the bumper. And as you can see here, it had to be contoured around this bumper because this whole thing goes over um so a lot of kind of uh engineering had to happen in order to to make that happen um and the net radar sits kind of right here behind the bumper we have two regular laser diffuser sensors here no tx in the back um basically behind this panel and that panel right there respectively um all of these are you know, perfectly level with the ground and they're angled out uh, on a straight plane from the back of the car facing outwards. And again, it's very imperative if, if you get any of this uh, stuff installed by someone else is these sensors really can't be on more than a two degree variance. And the reason they can't be more than a two degree variance is because over a long stretch, that angle will become wider and wider. So you'll have a big uh, vulnerability in the front of your car if uh, someone's shooting you from way, way, way down range. So again, it's very important that these things remain uh, flat with the ground and angled no more than two degrees outward. So showing you the inside, right? Um, all of these systems have a controller. Obviously there's Escort, there's K40, there's Stinger, there's AL Priority. In this case, we chose the AL Priority because it is uh, notoriously the best against laser defense. And we paired that with Net Radar because it works through its existing control center. Um, and these units typically come with a controller. In this case, it is behind this panel here. Uh, we made this, this was kind of like an empty tray. And I took up just a little bit of space here. We can still put a phone back here uh, and have the space available if you still want to continue to use this. But right now I kind of kept this silver trim design that you see and included that in this panel. So when you remove this panel, there's two magnets that are embedded there in the acrylic in the back. And I designed this to where you can just stick your hand under here and it sucks it up to the top because I have another bracket with two more magnets on the other side of this. So now you can reveal the control center, but again, if you wanna hide it, you can stick your hand back up here, grab the piece of plastic, and then it fits right into place there and sits smooth with the edges. So when you're parked, it looks like nothing is here, but more or less a factory panel because you have the painted black, you have the silver trim. Uh, so it blends right into its location. Other than that, you have uh, your other indicator LED. If you just want to keep this covered all times, you can do that. Your speaker's behind the dash and you have your LED indicator up there in the corner. Um, GPS antenna we installed right underneath this panel here, clear to the sky. And that's pretty much the system in a nutshell. Again, we just try and include the car's design into our design to make everything look as factory and stealthy as possible. Also forgot to mention, uh, let's move this back up here. We have a static touch switch, so you can kill power to the system. So if you just touch that, light goes off, right? So we can just touch that to the side. Again, there's just a static switch right behind here, which will then activate the system. So pretty cool how everything kind of integrates in and remains very action. stealthy. Another cool thing we do is we uh, generally make these little cards and print the information, say of the car, obviously our company, what the system is, and all the ID and serial numbers, Bluetooth connection pins for uh, the entire system. That way you can navigate everything. You can register all the sensors. In this case, AL Priority, you have all your information that you can just throw in your credit card. So pretty cool little uh, thing that we include with each install. 
So if you wanted to get a system installed, had questions about how the system works, all the logistics behind how to install this stuff and how we do it, you can give me a call or you can email me. Here's my number here, followed by my email address. Um, you can also follow us on our website. So go there, www.mosaicdesign.com. There you can actually see and uh, search by radar jobs. So you can see all the different jobs that we've done and see how we've kind of done this on multiple different platforms, right? So you can see how we've integrated Stealthy into say Tesla or Chevy or something along those lines. So go there if you wanna see more and see kind of the difference between a Stealth versus a standard installation. We do them a little bit differently, obviously for budget restraints. So check that out and obviously subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more jobs just like this. And like always guys, I really appreciate uh, the, the, the viewing, the following, and until next time, I'll see you later.